And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When we last left off, Dogmeat was almost killed by a group of aggressive ghouls. Um, and then we were saved by a glitch in the game, or maybe not a glitch, but yeah, a mechanic. So Dogmeat just managed to walk out of the screen. And then we get, yeah, got to the world map and then sort of this... Everything reset. Um, he is still wounded, however. And we still have to find the water shed. The water shed. Oh. Um. Okay, stay here and wait. Do we see that? That is a mutant. I think this is actually one of the friendly mutants. However, um, they are also non-friendly mutants and... This city will eventually get attacked by them. And believe me, you don't want to be here when that happens. Okay. Let us check whether he's actually a friendly... Well, he is... At least not outright killing me. Um, but he told us specifically not to disturb his boss. <clears throat> so we shall try to avoid that. Uh, hey, you not look like ghoul. How come? Uh, <laughs> okay, that's... Hmm. He looks rather dumb, so maybe we could just um, take the funny option. No, let's let's try to confuse him. Maybe that's maybe that's better. You not ghoul? I knew. I knew. Not fool, Harry. Hmm. You not ghoul? Or to say. Not ghoul, not be here. Oh, you find out soon. Um, okay, against my better judgment, why don't you take me to my boss, to your boss? That was probably Oh, a this is excellent. You know, I actually doubted my officers when they said they'd captured a prime normal. It is so nice to see you. What the hell are you talking about? Why, when you become one of us, of course. I can't have a perfectly good prime normal and not make it one of the chosen ones, now can I? After you tell me where your vault is. Hmm. Hmm. Probably not a good idea just to anger him, I would suppose. Hmm. Conditions? How delightful. Go ahead, amuse me with your <laughs> condition. <laughs> Put it back over your head so I can stand being in your presence. Um, hmm. Ah. Hmm. Let's ask him some questions. Why, certainly, my dear human. I'm curious just to see what you'll ask. Hmm. What do you do here? My dear human, this is the great procreator. Here, we'll make others of the master race and ensure the unity. It's all quite glorious, I assure you. Hmm. What's this unity? The unity is our goal. It is quite simple, really. Certainly, even you have noticed the steady downhill slide of civilization. Uh... 
to be fair, I lived all my life in a world, so I probably don't really know much about civilization, but I assume you have a point there. The super mutant is the next advancement in human evolution. To save the world, we will convert all the worthy individuals. Simple, efficient, glorious. Hmm, but there's no choice involved. Did you make the choice to be born into this ash-covered world? We, the super mutants, are the best prepared for the world to come. What is free choice compared to life? Hmm. But you can't really know that that's the only option. Hmm. Okay, tell me how you're more prepared than the normal humans. Intuitively obvious to the most casual observer. We are highly intelligent and immune to disease. The strong survive. It is our goal to improve the human race. Hmm. Ah, the wonders of technology. Before the war, the human scientists made a drug called FEV. It was designed to make the perfect human. Better. More than human. I too was once human. Like you, I was a slug wallowing in the mud before being exposed to FEV and undergoing my glorious transformation. Your transform transformation. Okay, uh, so you're planning on dipping everyone in this FEV then? Exactly. Hmm. Now you see. Uh, okay, but can you ask? Can I ask you a few more Certainly. questions? Certainly, we have all the time in the world. Um. Okay, who's your boss? We all work for the Master, to uphold the glory of the Unity. He was the first, you see. Okay, how come you work for him? Fate. Luck of the draw. I was the strongest of my batch to be dipped in the virus, and I have always supported the ideals of the Unity and the Master. For he is right. And for my devotion, I have been rewarded. Hmm. And what is this master like? He was our guide to the life-giving virus, and he is father to us all. And he so wants to meet you. Hmm. I hope you're honored. Where is he? He's busy with the children of the cathedral. They actually consider us gods. But then, who can blame them? Hmm. Of course not. We are simply the future. By the way, sorry. Um, I actually forgot that sometimes the recording software doesn't properly record the text dialogue. So it should probably read out all the questions just in case you can't see them. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't believe you. Oh, how disappointing. I'd so hoped you would see the light before. Well, when you're one of us, I'm certain you'll understand. Then hmm. you'll embrace the unity. Uh, maybe, but can I ask you a few questions first? Certainly. We have all the time in the world. Trust me. Hmm. Why do you want me? What do you want me for? Oh, haven't you figured it out yet? You're a prime normal. Soon you'll be one of us. And why am I a prime normal? The FEV was mutated by the war radiation. 
Those living in this desolate wasteland have been exposed to this mutant FEV, essentially inoculating them from the full effects. Hmm. So we need someone who is not contaminated by this FEV to con to create a super mutant? Oh my, you are brighter than I thought. Now you know why we need your vault. Hmm. How about some more... S it's a big vault. How about some more small answers first? How could I possibly refuse a request phrased like that? Um... How about I just leave? <laughs> Actually, can I barter with him? No, okay, I can't. How about I just leave? Going? I believe... Let me check. Why, yes. I almost laughed. How wonderfully humorous. The only place you're going is the vat. But first, you'll tell me where your vault is. Um, I hope you can take rejection. We shall see, won't we? I think we're in a far fight. Oh. Feel better now? Since torture is such a crass, yet oddly satisfying and effective technique, I'll ask you once more, nicely, where is the vault? Hmm. I'm not telling. I rather hoped you'd say that. You saddest. Let's just run away. Um, good thing I have so much action points. Okay, that is a rather, yeah, uncomfortable situation. Let's just say, um, now we're being chased by a giant super mutant. It was equipped with prob probably a plasma gun, plasma chain gun, maybe even. Oh, and Ian is. Sort of. Taking care of it. And now both of them were destroyed by a rocket. And I think we are about to share Ian's intiguous fate. Uh, you know what? I don't think so. Um, okay, let's not do that. Uh, let's not do that, actually. Uh, yeah. Let's avoid these mutants. So, good thing I learned about, about the children of the cathedral. Um, so... Um, hmm. So this appears to be the watershed. Um, but I think the ghoul said that the ship should be in the sewers below. However, I think we should not, shall probably not take this sewer uh, entrance with that probably just um, make the um, the super mutant attack us and there are this these ghouls that attacked dogmeat last time we shall take this uh, sewer entrance well actually 
Why don't we check? Whether we get attacked or not. We don't get attacked. Okay. At least not by this uh, super mutant. Hmm. Ah, okay. Hmm. So is there... We probably want to get somehow uh, get somehow get to um, this um, this sewer entrance. I mean this um, yeah manhole. Okay. Hmm. First, we have to deal with these pig rats. A uh, more rats, sorry. Giving us experience, if nothing else. Um, hmm. Yeah, but how do we get there? Let's just um, deal with these small rats first. It's a good way to earn and deal with these rats if they are so keen to get killed. And we gained a level, yes! Haha! And we get to pick a perk. Okay, um, let's go through all the perks, at least the ones that we haven't seen yet. I'm not sure whether we have seen that perk. You've owned your ability to notice deals about people in the world around you. I think we've already seen this perk. So this shows the number of hit points and the weapon held. Mm, don't think so. Bonus hand-to-hand -hand attacks. You've learned the secret arts of the East, or you just punch faster. In any case, your hand-to-hand -hand attack cost one action point less to perform. Now that's... that is a good perk. Or we could take the next level of bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage. Experience in unarmed combat has given you the edge when it comes to damage. You cost plus two points of damage with hand-to-hand -hand and melee attacks for each level of this perk. Sorry. Bonus move. For each level of bonus move, you get two free action points each turn that can only be used for movement. Okay. Um, interesting. But maybe this is this perk is more attractive. Bonus range damage. Your training in firearms and other ranged weapons has made you more deadly in ranged combat. For each level of this perk, you do plus two points of damage with ranged weapon. Educated. Each level of educated will add plus five skill points when you earn a new experience level. This perk works best when you purchased, purchased, ugh, purchased early in your advent, adventure. Fortune finder. You have the talent of finding money or just tend to get lucky. You will find additional bottle caps in random encounters in the wastelands. Heave Ho. Each level of the Heave Ho perk will give your web your thrown weapons. I didn't actually know that you can throw weapons in this game. Your thrown weapons an additional plus two strength of for purposes of determining range only. More criticals. You are more likely to cause critical hits in combat if you have this perk. Each level of more critical will give you plus five percent to your critical chance. This is a good thing. Mysterious Stranger. With this perk you have gained the attention of a mysterious, st mysterious stranger who will appear to help you from time to time. If your, allo if your ally is lost in combat, do not expect him to be replaced. Okay, that, that would probably be very funny actually, this perk. Um, yeah, we've seen this one. We've seen this one too. Snake eater. Yum. Tastes like chicken. You have gained an immunity to poison, resulting in plus 25% to your poison resistance. We've seen Swift Learner. Um, so I think the most interesting ones would be Mysterious Stranger. Um, but I think the most useful ones would be this one. 
this one and this one. Um, so one last action point for each attack means that we can probably now attack three times. Um, during a single turn. So that, that I think would be really, really helpful. Or we could go for more damage. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go with this one because we've already um, invested into the first level. And we really, we need this damage. Um, however, I think having the ability to hit one more time is actually much more useful than of doing just two, plus two points of damage. Especially that since um, it's not really the amount of damage that counts, but the amount of criticals that you get also. So this one would also be a good option then. Um, this in fact would be also very good when we get the um, we start using plasma weapons. So, hmm. Hmm. I'm very, t I'm very sort of split between these three, three choices. Um, however, this is only 5%. So I guess I will actually go with this option, with this perk, since this will be actually useful, very useful right now. Okay, that took quite a while. Okay, now we need to decide how to spend our skill points. Um, we are quite good in unarmed combat. Uh, however, we need to be even more, even better. And we also need to level up the energy, energy weapon skill slowly. So let me just check how much points, points we would have to invest. Um, oh, okay, 200 is the maximum, actually. So now, we, so we start off at 100 and 67. So let's say we um, invest 8 points in unarmed, invest at least 5 points in energy weapons, and um, hmm. so lock picking. It's probably a good idea. Um, yeah, lock picking. Let's do three points or two points in lock picking. Um, two points in lock picking and actually three points in. Hmm. Or maybe we would put five points into sneaking. However, this doesn't really do much. Um, so I suppose that it makes more sense to put them into lock picking, I suppose. Well, actually, no. Let us invest these points also into unarmed. So now we are pretty much um, have reached the maximum level here. Yeah, let's. I think that's okay. Um, and a mole rat decided to attack me. Let us see how much we've gotten better at unarmed combat. Yeah, you see now it costs only three action points for a targeted hit. Okay, let's adjust the um, combat speed. And when we come back, folks, we shall yeah, uh, try to avoid the super mutant uh, boss. 
and try to get the parts for the water pump. So until next time folks, until then. <laughs>